Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to Chinook database in SQLite using Node.js. So first thing is go to Chinook database website on GitHub. The project was originally on Codeplex, but it is now moved to GitHub. Okay. From there, you can download the release that is specific for your operating system. Okay and for example currently it is supported for sqlite okay so a lot of servers are also supported so from here you can simply download a basic sql file and then run it through console i have that video as well uh, which you can check out from the description and once you install the database we are going to check how to use node.js to connect with this database currently i have this sql file here and also i have a sqlite properly installed and i can execute the queries with this chinook database okay so open the visual studio or any other text editor create one sample.js file and here let's first create one SQLite 3 module that will call for require SQLite 3 then verbose okay make sure that you install your SQLite 3 module by typing npm install SQLite or SQLite 3 okay once you do that you can execute the code mentioned here just in case if you have missed it okay next thing let your database connection connect with new sqlite3 dot database and here within single quote use dot then slash and then chinook dot db okay and then use comma then for error Okay, and then check if error goes for and make sure to use console.log then error dot can use message. Okay, and here you can type in console.log connected to Chinook DB in SQLite. Okay, and another way is to check whether database is closed. And here we are again check for error. Okay, and within that, we will simply add if condition, check for error. Okay, then use console.log use error dot message okay and then outside this simply go with console.log chinook db connection closed okay what we did okay let's check again okay make sure that it is proper and it is not calling error from utils okay and after you do that double check everything okay so what we did we call for sqlite module then pointed our connection to chinook.db file Okay, this is not in memory but on file which is right here. Okay, and the file sample.js and Chinook DB is in the same folder, so I use dot slash then checked whether it causes error and displaying that error message. Also printed out whether it's connected if it is, then also check whether 
database gets closed and if not then pass the error message and if it gets closed then say Chinook DB connection closed okay so now let's open command prompt here make sure you are in same directory as this sample.js then hit enter and it should show you message connected to chinook db in sqlite also chinook db connection closed now you know how to connect with chinook db you can run additional queries for selecting the rows within specific table within chinook and then displaying that data on your console if you are using it for express project you can do the same